So it's October 2nd, 2020. I apparently moonlight as somebody who gives a shit about humans. Um, I was down in Bay Terrace um, speaking. I heard in my ear after I did the whole like fuck you down Main Street to all the shit bags enjoying themselves on a Friday fucking night while I can't give two fucks how many of them die um, for forcing this for cars, cell phones, some education that got me nowhere, having to wait for them to get some kind of toilet paper degree in uh, I am number one in the world. And why is it you all seem to be enjoying this thing like they call Friday night and I'm stuck like trying to explain to like some good assassins elsewhere how many to fucking pull off the list and get rid of so we can actually like then we could have some fun. So I go down to Bay Terrace uh, and I speak. There were some young boys there. They were speaking. I had my windows open. I couldn't help but hear I get out of my vehicle. I go speak to two of the security guards white, like myself, one was 35, one was 33, and then there was a young local, only 14, I said, my son Alexander James is 15, I said, so, just so you're kept in the conversation, I said, uh, where did the national debt come from, why do they call it a clock, if it's debt, wouldn't it be a calculator, why do they call it a clock, he's like, I don't know, that's a good point, I don't know, I always heard clock, right, he's like, I don't, I didn't, never thought of it, I was like, right, okay, I was like, and then I broke it down for them about, like, when I woke up, 1978, my parents had no credit cards at all. It didn't exist. There was no plastic money. And there, it was Federal Reserve, and it was bills. That was it. Um, and somewhere in the 80s, the plastic money became a thing, and then there was no rules and regulations, because nobody could track it. You can't track it, you can't control it, you can't guarantee that there's not one bully in the situation that's going to strong arm all of the fucking rest. I mean, it's fucking haphazard. And here we are, 2020, in the fucking world, broke itself, and then did zero policing the whole fucking time I was being raped, molested, and nobody gave a shit. So, um, here we are. So I said to the guys, I said, okay, so, um, do like, here's the thing. I said, so now you've got this, no, nobody's enforcing. There's no, there's a, there's supposed to be a central bank, <laughs> but if people are just writing themselves like budgets and nobody's policing anywhere, um, I was like, here's the thing. Here's Poland's number. Poland abides by U.S. custom law. So I heard they apply for the 50, you know, um, movers, like, whatever. I said, let's do comparison. Let's take 50,000 Polish people per year over a time period, and then let's do 50,000 Pol Polish people moving uh, over, say, a decade, 10 years. He goes, okay. I said, so that means that in our city, right, if we accepted all 50,000, which is not how it works, but if we did, I should uh, run, expect to run into a Polish person every whatever in the probability of things. And they're like, right. I was like, okay, great. So, um, why is there so many Korean and Chinese in Bayside specifically? And he's like, what? I was like, well, if Poland only got 50,000 lotto tickets to move, that means that somewhere in Korea or China, they only got 50,000 to move. And why did about a million of them land in New York City and uh, I have to look at every f every one of them every day. And they're like, no, that's a good point. Like, no, they're... I'm like, we are oversaturated, and the ratio is so horrifically off. I said, now let me ask you this. You're native to America. Uh, somebody breaks the bank. They have a major heist and bank robbery on the world scale. Nobody tells you. Um, and then all of a sudden they invade your country and they're like, oh no, but we come with TVs and cell phones and cars and we're the good guys, I swear. And then they get here, they move themselves in and now it's fucking oppression. There's no, uh, jobs for the us. You, the money mechanics is all off. You can't afford a house, your kids. I mean, you can't enjoy yourself. Now everybody has to have like a rock 
like astrophysics degree just to like answer phones at McDonald's. I mean, it's like ridiculous. And so like the guy kind of left. He's like, yeah, I do. I was like, so at what point in U.S. Customs and Immigration, I'm just taking a public survey. Um, at what point does uh, immigration become a full onslaught invasion of a foreign nation and body that you did not invite, you did not want, and they did not announce themselves as criminals to your good people and representatives, which then means that it's an act of war upon itself that so many of them arrived because they're criminals. I mean, in banking, in immigration law, how, how are you, the two security guards in Bay Terrace, white guys, 35, 33, and then 14, my son's right around your age. How are you going to protect yourselves? I'm just curious. Who's going to, like, protect you when you're just like, well, you know, I, I see them coming in. Like, but, right, your homeland is being invaded. Who do you report to and who's going to listen? Because then you report and then all of a sudden you become ostracized and you become the criminal. Like, how dare you? It's a hate crime now and you're racist and you're the bad person for reporting it. Really? I thought I'd be the fucking superhero for all the, like, good white kids around and the white trash around the world. But apparently, uh, yeah, the criminals have sold you on a different reality, clearly, that I became the bad guy, stupid fucking humans. Um, so then I said to the guys, I said, okay, so, uh, right, we've got, um, they, uh, the heist, they stole, they made plastic money, they made their own banking regulations, their own immigration law, they're here, they didn't, uh, claim war, and that they were here with guns, and when, no, they came with TVs, cell phones, and, like, um, nothing good ever, uh, cars, and so, and now, like, they won't leave, so now, what do you, I said, and by the way, I said, um, do me a favor, I said, um, we're called the Empire State. Anybody know why? What are we the empire of? I was like, have you ever heard of an empire? They're like, yeah, well, like, the, the Roman Empire. I was like, right, right, good, good, good. So, um, I was like, and then what about, um, uh, I said, what about the, um, Caesar? Caesar's in charge of the Roman Empire, correct? They're like, yeah. I'm like, okay, good. So you heard of that. And now I was like, and who is the Caesar currently? Do you know? And, uh, the one gentleman said, Augusta, right? And I'm like, yes, very good, 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 good. I was like, Augusta is. I was like, now, does Augusta have a face? He goes, well, I, I, I don't really know. I guess he would. I was like, yeah, actually, it's two. It's a him and a, it's a he and a she. And he's like, there's two? And I was like, well, there's a Caesar and then his wife. And he goes, and I was like, and they're both born in August. And that's why it's Augusta. And he was like, oh. He's like, oh, oh, well, that makes sense. So then uh, I introduced myself as Zarina, no quote Kataruza. I told him about Russia, Ruta, root race, whatever. Um, and then I said, um, I said, around La Cosa Nostra, <laughs> La, Co La Nostra, I said, my house name is Goddess Nix, N Y X because I'm in New York. I was like, and I am really upset because I'm supposed to be in charge of protecting the people, the good people, from this enemy invasion, yet nobody, even when I phoned it in before it happened or as it was happening at age like four and five, I was like, nobody, I'm Caesar. I'm Augusta Caesar, no less. Zarina, on the American side, born in New York as resident, and yet Excelsior City State along with Papal State and every inch in between, did absolutely nothing to ensure that my goddess Isis and god Osiris had a brimstone with black stone in the center, eyed baby in the correct world position. Instead, everyone between top and bottom allowed the world and system to break even more, allowed all of the bank heist without repri reprimanding any of them. They let them move themselves in as an invasion, but without claiming an act of war. 
bringing gifts instead to confuse the fucking people they were about to sit on and oppress and shit on top of but not say anything for 42 years. Nobody made an announcement that uh, we have been under the oppressive war of China and their fucking sphincter between their cars, their people, their fucking Korean herpes fucking look. Everywhere you've heard of eyesore, it is a Korean, a Chinese, or a Mongol. I don't give a shit where, what fucking country you're from. That very look that's in my fucking face every goddamn day, they are the fucking enemy, and they are a herpes eyesore. Every time I look at them, I want to fucking vomit, or I want to stab somebody in their fucking Korean eye. We had a war with them, and with Vietnam. I don't know why, in 1978, they became so friendly with the fucking enemy of God and Caesar. In New York, no less. And elsewhere. I did not become forgiving. I am not an all-merciful, forgiving God. That's bullshit the fucking, like, priests tell you. I am a ruthless, careless fucking killer of all of the people that oppress the innocent. That is my mainstay function, all area useless fucking human. I don't give them a fucking break. Not a breath, not a break, further than it takes you to get to them and fucking eradicate the problem. That's what kind of god I am.